Bitcoin traders, how we doing? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at the unstoppable H bar, the unstoppable Hedera H B A R on that ticker. Right now, we're up a ton, just screaming to the upside here, up over 30%. So just insane to see. And in fact, if we actually look on the weekly chart here, we just started this weekly candle. So we're only about six hours into this weekly candle. And you can obviously just see how much we are to the upside, pretty much covering the amount of magnitude that we saw on the last week. So the last week's candle that just closed 63% to the upside. Obviously, right now, going to be a little bit tougher since we are higher. So the price does have to grow even more. But right now, still only about 30%. But magnitude nonetheless is extremely nice and bullish right now so especially with the amount of bullishness that the candle just closed here on the weekly you can just see if we go ahead and zoom in here on the weekly candle how much of a nice bullish candle this was several factors for that so first just want to talk about pretty much the magnitude of the overall body itself so a ton of green upside so we don't really have that much upside upper wick or that much downside lower shadow. So that does show and indicate that pretty much a majority of this whole week was just spent with prices being sent to the upside by the bulls. So extremely nice there. The other thing extremely nice too is that especially after rejecting from this 12 period EMA and in between the 12 and 26, the weekly candle that just closed just absolutely smashed, not only on top of the 12, not only on top of the 26, but also extremely far on top of the 50 as well. And we're not talking barely just breaking into the 50 period EMA here, we have a big, big, big screaming area on top of this. So even looking at the 50 period to the top here, still about 28% on top of the 50 period EMA. So even on the current week, 50 period EMA is at 7.19 cents, current price point 11.79, so just a ton below. Seen a lot of that great bullish fall through like we were seeing, but do have to be aware of some potential upside situations and scenarios as we do approach some of these big upside resistance points that were previous resistance up overhead on the previous trend. Now, the other crazy good bullish thing to see for the weekly candle that just closed is that if we actually look down here on the volume for what just closed, we did see a similar amount of volume come in previously on the previous trend high back in the middle to end of April, back on the 22nd candle. But if we actually look all the way to the left, we haven't seen this amount of bullishness come in for a, an H bar candle basically since September of 2021, so about three years ago, which is when we were finding our all-time high. So basically, volume hasn't been this much since the all-time high. So pretty crazy, pretty good to see in terms of bullishness. So now on the current weekly candle, are expecting a lot more of that. So shifting down to the daily chart again here, just talking about the magnitude, like we talked about with volume. Now, look at all of this very nice upside volume. As you can see, this is also trending very nicely to the upside with the occasional exceptional very nice bull spikes and then on our sell-off day that we actually had back on the 13th of november here very minimal bearish volume compared to what we've actually seen coming in so not a lot of consecutive and continuous selling pressure obviously with a huge upside day for hedera that did spark a little bit of selling and profit taking but a very nice dip buying and a nice four days of continuous upside here for the bulls, just sending Hedera even higher and higher and higher. But like we said, despite the extremely bullish action right now, we know that a ton of upside does typically get stuck up at a lot of price resistance, especially when we start to look at a little bit of overbought signals. So right now, RSI just extremely overbought. Currently, we're looking at 87.88. Now, if we actually go ahead and zoom out, you can see that we actually haven't hit this level of RSI here since the beginning of January or the beginning of 2023 here in January. So plenty of time has passed looking at more or less over a year and a half, almost approaching two years here since we have seen this amount of RSI. Obviously, the last few times we have gotten to this level of RSI earlier in the trend did see a little bit more upside, but then ultimately that did end up leading to a retracement after these overbought signals. So definitely have to be mindful that on these type of charts, they typically do retrace pretty quick, even though we could see a little bit more upside. So despite having right now an overbought indicator on the RSI, still could ultimately consolidate, see the next leg. But ultimately, we know that typically and historically, we have seen retracements when we do get to this level of RSI on the daily chart here. Now, so being that we are overbought, we do have to be mindful of several key resistance points that we're approaching here on this overall chart. So first one for the price coming in, we are looking at a big price level resistance here, just shy of 12 cents, 11.83. Above that, we are gonna have a next significant closing level of resistance, also price level resistance coming in just over 12 cents, 
Next major significant on top of that's going to be about 13 and a half at 13.4, followed by a price level resistance to the upside at 14 cents. So several big zones of resistance. And like we said, especially as we are getting overextended, we know that that does increase the likelihood that these big major previous historical resistance points do end up holding before we see a retracement and the next test of an upside move. Now, typically we do find resistance effective, but what actually invalidates that is that we do have to keep an eye on how much downside volume we do have, or rather bullish volume here on the bottom of the chart. So as long as we do see continuous upside follow through for the bullish volume here coming in for H bar, we do know that these resistances don't actually stand as much of a chance, despite a lot of these overbought signals being overextended to the upside. And just like we talk about how when we do start to see trends that are in a downtrend action, oversold RSIs aren't as good of an indicator as when we do see a bounce and the RSI does get overbought. So it is opposite to what the trend says. So just because we are seeing prices to the upside, because we have started initiated an uptrend, overbought RSI is definitely less effective than when we do get a pullback and see an oversold RSI. If you do have any questions on that type of concept, definitely reach out over on Twitter or X or down in the comments sections below and I'd be happy to try to clarify that as well, or potentially even doing another video on that topic. Now flipping into the two day chart here, and we talked about this in the previous video a couple of days ago, but especially after being extended about 180% right now since the Trump pump has kicked off, very good signs on the two day chart though, and one of the reasons that we do like it is just because typically we have found that two days on cryptos are a lot more relevant especially as we see this bounce got stuck in between 12 and 26. This one got stuck up between 12 and 26. This bounce between 26 and 50, and then again between 26 and 50. Finally now smashing above a heavy amount on top of these exponential moving averages. So not only did we blow through, have this very nice two-day candle close, we actually had a extreme amount of follow through with a lot of this very nice volume, confirming that that was a change in trend and especially zooming in right now on the current two day, you can see we are getting an extremely nice bullish setup, 12 period on top of the EMA, a very nice cross of the 26 period EMA over the 50 and then finally the 50 on the bottom. So very nice bullish setup here for the H bar setup on this two day chart in terms of the exponential moving averages. So last time we did see that, we actually saw a very nice healthy continuation and upside move for this overall chart. And in fact, from that point of a nice bullish cross actually saw it to the peak of the trend, about a two, about almost a three and a half X gain to the upside, about 250%. Now, since we're on the two day chart, do you want to look at some technical, specifically the RSI zooming out here on this RSI, you can see the levels pretty much right over 85. And the last time we have seen RSI as extended as we are now was on the uptrend approaching the previous all time high. So definitely a sign because we know that when these levels do hit, as you can see, definitely Pullback does insinuate, especially after huge pumps. So despite being able to have a potential consolidation, we know that that's a very realistic scenario. And so obviously the risk higher for new entries is greater that there is going to be a little bit more of a pullback. And of course we know that we can still go higher, but just know that the potential downside risk right now is starting to grow. And on these type of big vertical moves, we know they're never sustainable in a continuous direction. So for example, even if we did go ahead and invert this chart, if we knew this was a sell-off, this would not be a sustainable sell-off without some sort of dump ensuing. So for example, if we did see that this was a pullback dumped, we would actually expect a little bit of a bounce before a continuation would actually happen. Now we don't typically see just consolidation before the continuation sells. Obviously, that's not impossible, but usually in this sort of vertical type scenario, we know that some sort of bounce is going to be coming on the horizon, which does mean that when we go ahead and invert this back, typically we do expect some sort of sell off. And especially since we are approaching some upside targets with being extremely overbought, then that's kind of one of the guides that's going to let us know that we're probably going to have a little bit of struggling atmosphere here for the upside in terms of H bar. Now, if we actually go ahead and zoom out here a little bit, turn on VPVR, Volume Profile Visible Range, you can just see how we're kind of at that level right now, center of mass based on a lot of this previous trade history. And especially now as we are starting to blow up into those resistance points, we know that this would hopefully end up being a very nice point because otherwise, especially after blowing the center of mass, that did make the upside move a lot easier to hit. 
especially with a little bit more of that weak downside because most of the mass was down at the supportive base where we saw most of the accumulation happening over the last couple of years. So ideally we'd have love to have at least some sort of situation like this where we actually consolidate, but because we're so far above exponential moving averages right now, are going to have to be very realistic about that being a potential. So best case scenario is flipping down to the shorter term charts where we actually look to consolidate more on this type of level than we actually do on some of the longer term charts. Because when we have big explosive moves and pumps, we know that shorter term charts are always in control. So as long as we do maintain an upside trend on those, we can still continue an upside vertical directional move on the longer term. So it does actually take changing the trend on the shorter term charts in order to put in a top for that trend and know that likely on those daily and longer timeframes, we're gonna end up seeing a little bit of a longer term retracement. So definitely huge congrats to the H bar bulls. It's always fun to see altcoins in this space do these huge explosive nice moves and it's nice to see the returning of 20 to 30% plus gains in a single daily candle. So huge congrats again and a lot of excitement and typically we are gonna be expecting this to kind of be playing out amongst the rest of the crypto space. So exciting times ahead, especially for H bar and we will continue to watch it and see, especially with the ETF announcement and potential here for the H bar ETF. So a lot of great things in the works and a lot of nice hype and excitement building for Hedera H bar. That is going to go ahead and wrap up the show for today on Hedera H bar HBA or on that ticker. If you did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. If you have not done so just yet, thank you for sticking with me to the end here. Also, if you do have any questions, comments, issues, disagreements, all that fun stuff, post in the comments down below. And I'd love to get back to each and every one of you. That is going to do it for now. So stay safe, take care, coin traders, and I'll catch you back in the next video.